this will be my final pregnancy update. It's gonna be really quick. I have just a few more weeks left. I packed my hospital bag actually like two weeks ago and I was just gonna put a video up but I wanted to make sure I did an intro. I know I don't usually do intros but I wanted to make sure I did an intro and I also did like a postpartum basket um, of things that I feel like are really necessary after you have a baby. So I wanted to share that with you guys because I think it's really important. These are things that were lifesavers for me after I had my son because you know there's a lot going on after you have a baby down in the that region and so I'm going to share with you guys too like a little basket that I made yeah 35 36 weeks feeling good there's nothing really too much to update on obviously I mean I look more pregnant I think I'm wearing the same <laughs> outfit that I wore last time because I only fit into like two or three things in my closet now I had some serious contractions the other night and I almost went into labor and delivery but they just died down they weren't super consistent so um I don't know when the baby's gonna come, I can't predict, but I had Oliver at 37 weeks. You just never know, but I'm feeling good. I'm really nesty, getting a lot of things in order. We have a lot of things going on right now, which I will do a life update soon. Um, but yeah, that's kind of a quick update for you, but I'm just gonna jump right into what's in my hospital bag and my postpartum basket. I wanted to get a head start and get this packed pretty early. So I started with my hospital bag. I have a hospital gown. I took this with me last time when I had Oliver. I ended up wearing it the second day. So basically you can get a hospital gown. You can find them on Etsy or eBay. They obviously give you them when you're at the hospital, but sometimes it's nice to have your own. And someone gave me this idea. I can't remember who it was, but I ended up getting one and packing it in my hospital bag last time. I liked having it. I have a few different nursing bras. As comfortable as you can get, Target has good ones. I have my belly band. I didn't end up wearing this until I got home last time, but I do bring it just in case. And it also just provides support for your back. And so I'm bringing that. I have some slippers I'm going to bring with me and a pair of socks. And then I also have some sandals. You know, you might want to wear those when you take a shower or when you walk to and from the bathroom um, in the summer it's hot so it's good to have sandals I have some underwear I'm probably gonna take those out and wash them actually and maybe put them back in the bag I also picked up from Target in the clearance section some pajama pants I think it's nice to get a new pair of pajama pants but you want to get them in the clearance section obviously I'm wearing bigger pajama pants than I would normally wear because my size fluctuates from the beginning and middle of my pregnancy and also after I have a baby so it's nice to get kind of like a bigger pair and also in case you're bleeding or you leak or anything kind of like that I know it's gross but hey having a baby isn't always glamorous so I'm bringing some comfy pajamas I'm also bringing some leggings um, I can either wear those on the way home or where I'm at the hospital um, but these are maternity leggings they have some room so you feel comfortable. And then you want to pack an outfit that you're gonna wear on the way home. So I have maternity jeans. I actually just got a new pair of maternity shorts, so I will actually probably pack those as well, but I'm wearing them on the daily at the moment. Um, but it is pretty hot, so, and I'm having the baby in the summer, so depending on the season that you're having your baby in you know you want to pack accordingly if it's cold make sure you have a jacket and things like that too so anyway that's kind of what I pack for my hospital bag for the most part I'll get to toiletries in a second but for the baby I am packing a burping cloth these are actually by Gerber and they're called cloth diapers but I use them as burping cloths and then I have a comfy blanket these are one of the Aiden and NA blankets again everything's washed and fresh and ready to go so I'm gonna put that in my bag as well I have a few different newborn outfits in different sizes actually this first one is the one Oliver wore home from the hospital or no I'm sorry he wore the first day he didn't wear home so you want something that they can wear home something that they can wear on the first day so I'm just bringing three different options and I like these little onesies because they also have the hand mitts um, to prevent them from scratching themselves included in the onesie so they're really tiny they're newborn size I am bringing a little hat I am bringing formula and a bottle um, I plan to breastfeed exclusively at first but I like to have this just in case I didn't like the formula that they gave um, Oliver in the hospital last time because they had to give him some formula while he was in the hospital for jaundice long story short I want to bring my own hoping for best case scenario but always good to be prepared I'm bringing some soothing gel pads for sore nipples putting that in a toiletry bag and then I also have some medicated pads for down there and some preparation H because hemorrhoids are a real thing 
after you have a baby. I don't know that it happens for everyone, but it happened for me and I was not prepared with Preparation H. So this time I have it. I have some nipple butter. I have some bottom spray. <laughs> um, yeah, I mean, it's very, it's all very glamorous, but this is, you know, these are the must-haves for sure. I'm also packing some shampoo and conditioner. I'm just putting the shampoo and conditioner I like into smaller containers. And then I'm going to bring everything else you would need for at least one shower, if not two while you're there. Lip balm, deodorant. I have some hair ties, I have a hairbrush. Um, yeah, I mean, when I took a shower, it felt like heaven, and it was nice to just have a few toiletries and my shampoo and conditioner, obviously toothpaste and your toothbrush and things like that. I also have a few little snack bars. I am gonna bring some water, I'm gonna pack some water and a few other snacks as we get closer. I do like to have the hospital bag packed. I have the boppy for breastfeeding and I just set it aside and I add things, but I do like to have something just in case I go into labor early. And then you want to bring, make sure you don't forget if you want your phone, your phone charger, your computer, and your computer charger. But again, that's something you kind of pack towards the end because obviously you're using it. And then I'm going to pack a bag for my son who is going to be staying at either my mom's or his aunt's house, depending on what happens. Okay, so next is a postpartum basket. This is going to stay at the house. I'm making a DIY postpartum herbal sits bath. A sitz bath is basically a combination of herbs and sea salt and you use it in the bath and it's great for healing you know that whole area down there after you've had a baby and historically women were encouraged to take a rest period after they had a baby and sitz baths are really healing so you can buy um, sits bath herbal packets if you want but you can also make them for a fraction of the cost so i have several different herbs here i have sea salt lavender plantain leaf witch hazel yarrow calendula chamomile and i'll put the exact measurements below but basically i'm just making i'm mixing them together i'm going to put them in basically like a little tea bag and then you can put them in the bath and sit in a warm bath after having a baby and it's really going to help you heal again you can buy these and if you don't have time to make them yourself or you can actually make this basket for someone else and leave it at their house and it's really helpful to have that so I'm making a few and then putting that in a Ziploc bag that's gonna go in the postpartum basket you can find bath herbs on Amazon I actually that company Earth Mama where I got the nipple butter and also the bottom spray they also have bath herbs and then you can buy those if you want and put them in the basket. Also another thing that's great for the basket besides a sits bath or bath herbs are um, pads because you will bleed for several days after. You also want a bottle, a squirt bottle, um, medicated pads as well. Preparation H is another one that will go in there. I'm bringing it to the hospital with me, but also in the postpartum basket. And then um, I have some nipple pads as well for leaking. And then the DIY herbal sits bath as well. So you have several baths you can take to just relax and heal. Also Dermoplast is a numbing spray for down there that is amazing. The hospital provided this for me last time, but this is definitely an essential for the basket. So make this for someone and keep it in the bathroom or make it for yourself and have it ready to go. You will be so happy you did. Um, hopefully this helped you if you're expecting. If you like my channel, please be sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching.